Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful Celtic knot frame. So the first step is I'm using a dot grid here, but you could also do it using graph paper or blank paper. And I'm going to start by making a rectangle that is six points wide and five points high. Like this. And then I'm going to construct a smaller rectangle that has three points by four inside that. So this is the basic size of the frame that we're going to be constructing. So around each of these points, I'm going to draw a little circle and I recommend using pencil so that you can erase if you make a mistake. And then once you've got the basic design, you can always go over it in a, a pen or something or a marker. So circle around each of those points. Larger circles means narrower ropes or ribbons. Smaller circles makes wider ribbons. You'll see what I mean by that in a second here. All right, so now inside each square of dots, I'm going to add a center point. So it makes groups of five. You can see that taking shape here. right in the center. Okay, so there's my offset grid, rectangular pattern. Now, the next step in this process is I'm going to not start at the corner, I'm starting at the point just below that left corner, and I'm going to connect from that dot to the one that's just up to the right. I'm going to go under and then over. I'm gonna do the same thing immediately below that, under, over, under, over, under, over, like this. Up on the right hand side, similar. This is laying down the groundwork for the pattern. And if you make a mistake, again, use pencil so that you can erase it and fix it. Make sure this is focusing all right. Yeah, okay. All right, next step. So this section that was going from the center dot to the top dot line, and it's going slanting to the right and it's going above and do the same thing all the way across the top here and then in the bottom row you can see this bottom corner here comes underneath the dot to underneath the next one just above it to the right do the same thing so below and below All right, next step. So I look at this one as going from the bottom right hand corner of my inside of my frame and it's going down, it's looking underneath the point that's down to the right of that. And you're going to do exactly the same thing. All the way along the bottom there. Okay, I'm going to come up now to the top. Okay, so from the underside to the underside of that point. I'm 
almost there. I can see this is starting to take shape. So these lines that I've just made, coming across like this, I'm going to make a partner line so that they come in pairs of two. Like this. Right. Down here, same thing, I need a partner line for each of these groups. Two. All right. Up the right hand side here. I'm coming above the dots again on a 45 degree angle, repeating that same. So I'm coming from above a dot to above the dot that's just to the left. And over here, we're going to go below to below, like that. And already you can start to see this starting to look like a weave is happening. Okay, next up, we're gonna complete the inside of this frame with a series of loops. So I'm going to start right here so the third dot over on the inside of my frame, and I'm going to loop that in just before this corner dot. And I'm going to do the same thing, moving from right to left, like that. And I can come back in here and, and clean up the shape of these loops later when I go over it with my marker. And I'm going to continue around here, so circle. So follow the line out, and just before the circle, you come back in. Here's another one. And then from this point, and bend it in just before the circle, like that. So there's the inside of my frame looking good so far. The next process is going to be completing the weave on the outside. So I'm actually going to add one more line right here so that my corners are all ready to go. Okay, so I want you to picture that there, there's a ribbon wrapping around like this and then going to come out like that. And if it helps you to see those pieces, which it does for me, you can add those little tails coming off of the right, like this. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on the left. The tails are now pointing up. bottom of this weave, the tails are coming down to the left. Like that. All right, now we're going to tie it all together. So not from the corner, but from the point just to the left of the corner, I'm going to make a loop that comes out and back in. So 
same thing on this corner, out and back in. Same thing on this corner and you imagine it continuing this line here, out and back in. So picture that line continuing. There, there's my corners. And now the last step is completing the braid. This is going to end up looking like a continuous braid. So imagine this line continues and it's going to pop out right here, loop it back in. The next line continues out and loop it back. This line continues out and you can see coming across right here Across this bottom left corner, goes underneath that one, loops around, and back. Practice it, and the more you do these, the better you'll get at them. Continuing out like this, and like that. So this frame, this particular Celtic knot is an infinity knot. There it is, meaning that it doesn't matter where you start on the knot. If you start there as though it was a, a ribbon and you follow around the entire design, you will eventually come back to the same place you started. So that's the that's what makes it an infinity knot. So the final step of this would be to color the lines and then use some kind of contrasting or uh, different shade on the inside in order to highlight the sort of three-dimensional look of it. Good luck and if you end up trying this challenge please share it with our class team. Enjoy! This one was for Nana. Happy Mother's Day!